Hey guys, this is Sean1604 coming back at you with another tutorial. Um, basically, I haven't done a tutorial for a while, I've been busy with a lot of other stuff, um, uni and things like that, even though I just dropped out, but that's another question. Um, basically, I had a tutorial back up a while ago about customising your Vista, um, and since then the reason that I didn't have another tutorial out was because I got Windows 7. Um, after it came out because through my uni, uh, I got it for quite cheap, I think it was £30 so I got it for, so that's not too bad. Um, a lot of the comments on my old video were about me trying to speak slowly and I was hard to understand and things like that, so I have now got a job in a call centre um, for three, which isn't too fun, but there you go. Um, I'll try and speak as slowly and as clearly as I can. Um, Basically, I'm going to try and answer some of the questions that were left on this. I know it was a quite a long time ago, but I'll try and answer some questions. Um, now, the first question that I have here that I was clicking on um, was, what skin is that, the one that's monitoring your CPU? Um, I'm assuming that is this one that he's, the question is referring to. Um, that skin is in Rain Meter, which is what the last tutorial was about. And it is this one here, HUD Division. Um, and it's HUD Division um, CPU 4, 3, 2, and 1. Um, so automatically gives you the amount that you have and HDD1 and all these ones here, info system or all these ones you see the white um, on this background um, the actual background itself is the sidebar which is what gives you the blackness so you can change the transparency of that and things like that you can make it fully transparent or you know different things like that um, so you can do different things now if I just set this back to 30, so it gives you a black background, you can put one up the top as well, you get one that you can put up the top or down the bottom. Um, now, let's see here, what else have we got? Um, tell me where you got the special taskbar where you have the logo for a Firefox extension and enter and MSN. Um, that is, I'm assuming, Rocket Doc is what he was referring to there. Rocket Doc is not part of Raymeter, it's a separate program. Um, basically you download and install it, you can drag programs into it and create programs, so you can just get in a, like, um, if I drag this in here and leave it there, it will create a shortcut to it. Um, now, let me just check here, so this isn't locked, so if you lock the items it means you can't drag anything to it or anything like that, you can only add it to a folder, so you can actually do anything. Um, now, the question there about actually getting custom um, pictures for it. Um, if you go onto the Rocket Doc website, there's bits here for all different things. Icons would be the one you were looking for. Um, I downloaded a skin just to show you what a skin would be. So a skin that I downloaded was called Matrix. Um, it's just the first one I picked. Now, basically to install a skin, you have to go into the Rocket Doc folder and go to Skins and drag and drop the folder. The X, obviously, the when I extracted this, and I dragged and dropped it in here. And then when you go to uh, doc settings and you click on here there's matrix I don't particularly like that but that's just my choice um, I just prefer a basic one I just have Vista Black at the moment because I quite like that um, you can change obviously the transparency you know there's a lot of different things you can do in here to customize it to yourself um, the, what you were looking to do if you wanted icons is you would just download the icon and obviously extract it and drag it and drop in here. You can create your own icons as you see I've done here with Company of Heroes and things like that. I've created my own. Um, I don't have one for a recycle bin or anything like that anymore. My recycle bin is just here because I found it annoying having it on that. And you know you can just get Firefox ones if you just um, search on this website. Um, so there should be a search bar here. Icons. Oh there's a so you can just search it there. Um, you can get packs as well, so you can, they're all the same. So if you had face Firefox and MSN and all those different things, all the icons would look similar. Or you can have all your own custom ones. Um, let's see if I have any other questions here. Um, I am looking high and low for a solution to my rain meters running slowly. I was wondering if you have a solution for it. I'm running Vista 64 bit. Okay, well I'm running Windows 7 64 bit. Um, if you download the newest Rainmeter, which is Rainmeter 1.0, so if you just go into Google here and type in Rainmeter, they have a proper website now for downloading it. 1.1 um, is the newest one, I would download that. Um, that is the latest one that's out, and download it proper, the 64 bit version for your specific version. And that should help you out, that's the only thing I can think of for you. Um, the only other thing would be that your actual system is slow. 
um, it does take quite a lot to run Rimir if you're on an older pro uh, older processor and older not a lot of RAM and things like that. Um, it is quite slow to run, um, so that would maybe be the only thing I can think of for you there. Um, now let me see if we have any other questions. Um, how did you download Stylish? Oh, that did not help if that goes away. Uh, yeah, yeah. See, this is what happens when you try and run Rain Meter when you're doing other things. Um, so if I just do refresh, again, I should make it go away. Um, now, Stylish, how did you download Stylish? Okay, so if we go to Google again, you see my Google has been changed back to white because I've not had time to change it yet. Um, that's not what it's stylish. So it's an add-on. So actually to install it to your Firefox all you do is go in here and Google it or you can go into the Firefox website and search for it. Um, and that would be the easiest way to do that. Um, just wondering why you're going to get the other one out. Okay, so basically that's just an add-on. So just hit add to Firefox and then you can go to the actual website user styles and I've already done this on other tutorial. Um, my backgrounds I get from this website here, alphacoders.com, wall.alphacoders.com and they have a new um, background up every hour practically and they have a lot of different categories and they're very nice backgrounds. I think that you can get them on all different sizes, they're free. I think it's an absolutely brilliant website. Um, there's a lot of different categories. You can get iPhone wallpapers, HD wallpapers, you know, fantasy, women, abstract, whatever you want, which is brilliant. Um, now, there's not really much else I have to talk about. I created my own shutdown um, icon, which if you go to icon settings, I'll show you exactly where that is. If you do, if you create a shortcut in, um, in here or on the desktop, and there's the target system dot thirty two dot shutdown dot the slash shutdown dot x c e x e and it starts in that folder and you have to put in this as the argument dash s space dash t zero and that'll get your computer to shut down when you click that button which is quite smart. Um so I'm just gonna delete this because I don't need it. Um now what else can we think of to do here? Um not really much. The only thing I've added to my um actual Rainmaker since last time I did a tutorial was these Win 2009 borders, which are basically RSS readers. Which instead of having them all over your screen, um, it means that you can do that and get them to come out. The only one that's not working at the moment is BT Chat, but that's just because the RSS feed isn't working properly. So if you go in here, you can edit the skin menu, edit the skin, and basically you can change the button title. That's the only thing you really need to do here. Um, and change the actual title of it if you want to because obviously if you don't want it to have the default one that you want to download it, you can just change that and it changes on here and if you when you open it up, if you click here somewhere and hit skin, edit skin again I've done a tutorial on this last time um, basically how to edit RSS readers but I'll just have a quick look at it again for you um, if it ever loads Rainmeter does not like being recorded <laughs> apparently um, but anyway yeah you can just there we go. You can just edit the URL in there and change the title of it and put the link in for the main link when you click on this part of it and it'll take you to that link. Um, now any other questions or any problems that you guys are having and please just post a comment on this video and I will be happy to make another video to try and see if we can fix out any issues. Um, if you have anything else you would like to make me, like me to make a tutorial on in, t in order of customising um, I'm, I've took a lot away of the customizations from what I had. Um, the old one, the video that I had up, um, had things like um, Virtue Win, which I don't use at the moment. That's to get four desktops up to, f I think it's up to 16, where you can just move about and go into different desktops on the one computer. Um, the other thing would be Windows Media Player. I'm using iTunes at the moment which I don't like to use but I have to because I got an iPhone um, and my Windows Media Player which I haven't customised on Windows 7 yet so I might get a new tutorial out about those um, but any other questions just please let me know and I'll be happy to answer them. See you guys later.